Okay, so again, thank you for having us here. Um, today, uh, my colleague Andre and I are going to tell you something about uh, our work and uh, yeah, how we uh, automated the import of uh, an ontology, in this case, the academic event ontology into a semantic media wiki instance um, with a Python command line tool called ontology to SMW. If you please go on. Andre, can yeah, thanks. So um, this Python command line tool, uh, as I said, is uh, there to automate the import of Eon, the academic event ontology, and thereby uh, makes the semantic media wiki pages um, to true linked open data entities. It helps us to prevent a lot of manual labor and the errors associated with that, or that might happen uh, in the creation of the semantic terms within the semantic media wiki instance. And since Eon is an ontology in development, um, it really helps a lot um, to integrate the changes done in the ontology um, while being in development into um, the semantic media wiki instance quickly. To give you a little bit more of the background um, why this tool has been developed, uh, I would like to briefly tell you what Confident, the project the two of us are working in, uh, is. It is a service for open research information on academic events and event series. It's a project uh, done by the TIB Hannover and the University of Aachen. It's funded by the German Cancer Association. And it's basically a quality-driven collaborative creation of semantically structured metadata on academic events and uh, event series. Uh, it is based uh, on the semantic media wiki instance that is openresearch.org. Um, we're striving to provide um, fair metadata. That means um, the metadata on the academic events and event series is easily findable, accessible, interoperable, and of course, reusable for others. We thereby also strive to um, be uh, reliable and transparent for all stakeholders that can be researchers uh, or organizers of events, librarians, and many others. Um, we also um, try to uh, integrate um, our service uh, with existing services such as Vivo um, research information um, instance, uh, research information system instances, um, the PIT graph or Wikidata. And of course, in order to uh, be able to identify uh, academic events and event series properly, um, we need persistent identifiers for those. And uh, therefore, we are uh, going to have a, a setup that you can register a DOI for an academic event or event series via data site within Confident. Now, uh, coming a little bit more to um, the ontology that is going to be, or that it is being imported with the tool we're presenting, um, uh, that is Eon. Um, you might wonder why do you need to develop a new ontology if there are um, existing ontologies uh, which somehow describe scientific events and academic events? Well, um, the problem is that uh, it doesn't, those existing ontologies and schemas doesn't really don't really fit uh, our needs uh, properly enough. There are uh, many good uh, things in there, so we try to reuse as much as possible. But um, for our purposes, we needed to develop uh, a new ontology. And this ontology, Eon, the academic event ontology, um, is a BFO-based ontology. That means. Um, it is using the basic formal ontology, uh, which is an upper ontology that is also used by the gene ontology, for instance, and many other medical ontologies. Um, it uses that in order to be um, more uh, aligned to um, other uh, domains um, and therefore be way better to be reusable. Um, the domain of Eon is to um, identify um, everything that's associated with an academic event or event series. Um, so the development, the management, the evaluation and the impact assessment, as well as uh, documents such as papers presented uh, at an academic event. And uh, Eon is independent of um, the knowledge or creative domain, which means that it's as general um, as possible. Here in the next slide, uh, what you can see is uh, a screenshot from the um, ontology design tool Prodigy uh, with a palette. And uh, you see the benefit of the BFO alignment here because everything that is in yellow is uh, inferred and not directly declared in the ontology. So um, being a BFO um, uh, compared uh, BFO aligned ontology, you can do a lot of 
uh, inference that it will give you possible unknown insights. And in the next slide, you see that the ontology is already um, quite complex, uh, having a lot of entities. The light blue ones are the Eon uh, entities. Uh, the dark blue ones are the ones from a BFO or uh, other uh, B the BFO itself or other BFO aligned ontologies. And what you can see here um, is not just um, the things, the entities and the relations that you need in order to describe academic events or event series like roles, um, organizer role, speaker role, or uh, the locations where an event takes place. But also, um, yeah, that it's very complex and that there are a lot of terms. And those terms need to be uh, integrated in the Semantic Media Wiki instance. And this is uh, very hard to do manually. Therefore, we developed the ontology to SMW tool, uh, which Andre now is going to tell you more yeah. about. OK, thank, thank you, you Philip. Um, so, essentially, we in the Confident Project uh, started to use Semantic Media Wiki as a, um, uh, as a semantic knowledge management system. And Semantic Media Wiki itself is a pretty good um, semantic knowledge management system. It does a really good job. It has categories which we can sort of more or less identify as uh, what we classes in uh, RDF based ontology and also has properties and we can define them. There's also the possibility to export data um, in RDF format, which is great. We have ask queries. Um, there's integrated into, into the whole media wiki ecosystem of extensions, which can make things pretty uh, powerful and user friendly. And for instance, uh, page forms, uh, a lot of uh, extensions are incredibly useful, uh, semantic formats, for instance, uh, and the technical overhead to set up the system is not that much. Once you've done it once, you know, then then pretty much it's a straightforward thing. Um, however, it tends to be something, uh, the data that you have in your uh, semantic media wiki based knowledge man management system, uh, it is within its own sort of space. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't communicate with the rest of maybe um, other knowledge, man knowledge management system within the same domain. Um, so in, in a way, it's not, inter interoperability is not something that comes natural. Um, and um, how to, the, the, uh, the question that we started to pose ourselves is sort of how to make um, the, the, the date and the knowledge graph that is within Semantic Media Wiki interoperable with other um, data sources within the same domain. How sort of we can aggregate or someone can aggregate results from different, uh, from different data sources within the same domain. And the main approach there would be to sort of um, to use a shared set of terms and relations. And that's essentially what an ontology can provide. Because essentially, these this different systems could be speaking exactly the same language, identifying things under the same set of terms and the set, same set of relationships. And then it's very easy to combine them. Um, and it's interesting that Semantic Media Wiki, and unlike Wikibase, um, has a functionality to import existing ontologies onto it as this media wiki SMW import, <laughs> whatever the prefix of the ontology is. Um, and it, it is there uh, for the administrators. They will have rights to write to it. Um, and for instance, here you see the Fina wiki from Bernard Cabrina uh, with uh, importing the DC terms, the Boolean core elements. And this is my own wiki where I just put friend of a friend. It's a bit of a test. Uh, and this is what you need to do. And then, of course, you need to find those properties and categories properly, um, putting the URIs um, in the right place where you see the imported from DC language so that um, what will result, uh, it is um, a resulting RDF of the data that you are annotated with this uh, terms that uh, you see there, the DC or the FOF uh, prefixes, they link directly to the URIs of those terms um, 
in the original ontology then don't point to your wiki but are pointing out to those ontologies uh, uris um and of course this is something that doing um manually is possible if the ontology that you're trying to import or you're trying to import a couple of terms there but hell breaks loose when you're trying to do that with something like eon that has i think around 100 terms at the moment and even gets worse as you go to sort of more complex ontologies that try to capture more kind of complicated relationships and um, um, within a domain so um our question was posed to us a sort of how do we automate this process um and we first um started to do that by and philip had a good idea to insert certain uh, terms within the eon ontology this eon smw type and sw import info that uh, if we were to import it um in an automated way we we'll sort of say what type of uh, data type this property is and what should be in this property definition page and we start adding that to the on ontology it currently is there um so and on top of that what we've done is to write a small python um, command line application called ontology to smw which you're very um you can check and fork and try out um that essentially is using uh, rdf lib and media wiki client and jinja to do what uh basically it does a sparkle query against the ontology asking for the terms that have the eon smw data type so this is the terms that we want to include in semantic media wiki we get the results sort of the term definition and process them a little bit massage them a little bit put them onto a template and by the api we will write them to the right place so the right property and category definitions and also the media wiki import uh, pages because there are also uh, other ontologies that might come along like scores etc that you might be using so they also need to come along um and the result is then again that we can start having these nice um um rdfs that actually are pointing to uh, the eon ontologies for instance here this open climate hackathon uh, uh, event has the eon end of date or eon has uh wikidata id this is imported from wikidata um uh, and it should link to the uri of the ontology so same thing with a sparkle query we're using a triple store um this is the same same story um but the big but is can i use um the same um, approach or this application if the ontology that i want to import doesn't contain this aeon smw data type and uh, smw info um properties or in values uh the uh, quick answer is no but the longer slightly longer is yes uh you can do it is currently working on it um under um development branch I'm just doing there um that is on our github repository um it's taking a little bit more of work than i expected but it's getting there uh and essentially it's the same kind of approach the only thing that changes is the sparkle query where we're querying for uh, classes uh, data type properties and object properties and trying to get the type the range the subclass the sub property of and the label uh, of those terms and to semantic media wiki so that was faster than i expected um and i think we uh, timed it for uh 20 minutes i think we have uh, uh five minutes uh, still to where we can sort of answer questions and discuss a little bit more elaborate a bit more on this and one more thing uh if you're either interested in the ontology or the application feel free to go to their github repositories um try out look things around fork it just just or submit uh, pull requests we're very welcome to to have your um, on board of these uh, projects okay so thank you philip thank you thank you andre 
for this uh, interesting uh, talk. And I can say it's exactly what I thought it is. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's great uh, because for me those tools are um, um, so small or larger milestones uh, for a web um, with open research data and open research informations where we get platforms where that data can public public uh, uh, yeah can be validated. Uh, by a public and verified by a public. And as I said in the opening session, this I think that becomes more and more important with a view on, on, on what is at stake um, um, with the misinformation and, and manipulation of the public, uh, what we have seen in the last years. So I think that is important to have such tools and um, I, but I know that there are more specific questions now about uh, we have uh, um, experts, a couple of experts here, then if it comes to RDF files. And um, what do we have? Um, uh, Barrett is asking, how do you solve the problem that on uh, SMW import, mm -hmm. I also set the data type to be used in SMW? That on the uh, import, I also set it as a type. Bernard, do you want to come in and ask the question? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm struggling to understand exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, the thing is, uh, I mean, with SMW, this this uh, import wiki pages, they they map or or they they define what part of the vocabulary I intend to use on my property page, right? So, for example, I have the property uh, last name, and and I basically say uh, I define it as being of both uh, last name. Okay, so this is the so then the RDF outputs points to both. Yeah, yeah that's easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if I now want to decide if my last name is in my in my semantic media wiki is of type text or of type page, I also have to do that now in the SMW uh, import. Here, yeah. So, um, yeah. and if I uh, so, where would I now define that? Because if I import the ontology, it would probably overwrite this uh, what I'm using internally in my wiki, which doesn't have to do anything with the ontology. If if it's of, of type page or of type text, it doesn't matter really. Right. So, what you're talking about is collisions of, of terms because you would not clarify which uh, namespace they are in. No, 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 not not collision of terms, no. but just just uh, simply the question: Is my internal property um, no. that is reference to a full vocabulary? Is it of type page or of type text? It needs to be um, aligned with um, what is on the ontology itself. So a data type property generally will be either text or uh, whatever it's in the RDFS range value. So if the RDFS range value is, for instance, data time, then the has type of that property should be um, uh, date, date. I think that's the semantic media wiki um, property. Um, so in, in our approach, we always try to follow what is in the um, original ontology itself. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's not always um, a, one-to-one -one match to everything of uh, of the XSD, um, all the data types that are in XSD, but it's pretty good. And this is sort of part of the work that I done last week is try to 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 create uh, a matching between this semantic media wiki uh, data types and uh, XSD data types. Um, is it is it clear? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, how are N NRE <laughs> relations handled? E.g., um, you can read it here, DCAT relationship with DCAT head role property, which uses concepts from SKOS taxonomies, etc. Ingo Frank. Um, hmm. Yeah, Philip. 
Ah, nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, good question. I I do not really um, understand at the moment at the top of my head what um, what he exactly means by. And uh, welcome file. How does this fit into the um, semantic media Wikimedia data management proposals? Okay. Well, as okay. far as we know, what the proposals are at the moment? Yeah, I have to look at the data management proposal to find out about that. Um, yeah, that I cannot answer um, on the top of my head. So apologies for that. I would say it's one additional approach i mean i i this is not necessarily a semantic media wiki uh, data management uh, proposal um but it's just something um that allows uh, to automate and uh, allows us to better maintain uh, an ontology within semantic media wiki to integrate that um and use it uh, and also be able to um update or for instance um uh, the terms of an ontology that's in development and one of the great things about semantic media wiki is that allows you very quickly to test what your ontology is doing and what where are the problems and conflicts there um without much overhead so this is really great if you're actually designing an ontology and planning to uh, apply it over data um, and also um, the, the fact that when you uh, see the RDF export, um, the main idea behind it was to, to have an RDF export that points directly to the ERIES of the external ontology used and not the uh, ERIE of the Semantic Media Wiki instance itself to make it um, uh, better in terms of uh, reusability within other systems, such as, for instance, Vivo uh, instances or so. I just want to integrate with us. Uh, I think Rich, Rich had a question pretty early on. Um, is there something special about Eon data type, except that you design the uh, categories and pro properties with that name? No, Philip, this is for you, I think. So the, um, the has, uh, Eon has uh, SMW data type property. So is that Yeah, the, the Eon SMW data type property um, is mainly there to tell the semantic media wiki or to know um, what kind of semantic media wiki data type is to be used for that property. But there's so, nothing special about it, right? It's, no. uh, it's an annotation pro property. It's a uh, purely annotation property that is not telling anything about um, yeah. the domain itself. And the thing is that it can also be used in other ontologies to fulfill the same function. So you can import in, if you're designing an ontology, import that uh, property from Eon, and you should be ready to go. I mean, you can just use it or create your own. Okay. Uh, 